prepare yourself for the horrors ahead. David Wells began his initial reading of the workhouse in what was once the master's quarters. Compared to what the poor inmates endured, it would have seemed undreamed of luxury. Wow, what was that? That was a massive knock. Ask, is that right, uh, for her to confirm? For her to confirm by knocking twice. And if that's you, can you knock twice? Just let us know that that's right, that you're back here just trying to restore calm. Very faint, aren't they? Shall we move on? Yeah. What's the matter? She just, she just as you said that, she also preempted it. She just whispered in me, yeah, prepare yourself for the horrors ahead. Deep joy. Yeah, I can still feel her. Okay. Okay, there's def there's a huge amount of noise in here. It's like a um it, it's it's obviously a communal space, it's an eating yeah. space, a living space, a playing game space, I think. Um for loads of of patients or what inmates. So when you say inmates, that's different to patients, isn't it? The, 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 the words um, that I'm getting is, once you're here, you don't leave, so... <gasps> Blimey, Carl, that was right by you. I'm a bit worried about that. There is so a once lot you're here, of, you don't leave? Once you're here, you don't leave. It's clearly a lot of these people are mentally ill because I've got people in straitjackets, literally in straitjackets. I've got people rocking backwards and forwards and muttering to themselves. Oh. I've got people, I've got people doing this and you know, biting your hand and oh. sort of, you know, and that, that's where that's obviously come from. There's a lot of that going on. We might have bats. Okay. Sorry, sorry to interrupt <laughs> you, but you're talking about noise and people. We might have bats or um, your theory, one of your theories is that perhaps spirits are communicating on an ultrasonic level yes. in terms of high frequency. Well, this is an ultrasonic meter. I normally have it as kind of a bat detector, but also occasionally... Oh, it is fluttering. It's going up to 20. Oh, look at that. But normally it stays down. I have to be very careful. Oh, it's, it's like pulsating. The overwhelming feeling in this area is that um, hopeless, hopelessness yeah. and that depression. And I think, you know, sometimes people are put in, in those, well, not sometimes, I guess quite often, to stop them harming mm, themselves yeah. and other people. But of course, it just makes them worse. And you can see that up in this particular area. I can see, I can see it's, like, isolated. There's, there, there's some, there, there are some portions, it's almost like there's a light which in it, there's, like, a pink light over some tables and things that feels calmer, and then there's, like, this darker light over other tables. Do you know what I mean? There's a separation. There's obviously... I don't know whether um, staff would eat with them or whatever, because there's pockets. OK. As for individual astrals, <laughs> trying to pick up on... There's one male who seems a bit strong, and he's, he's, he's that... And I hate to use this term, and please forgive me if you can hear me for using this term, but he's walking almost zombie-like. You know that kind of... It's almost like that. Right. You know that it's where they don't. You know in the old horror movies, yes, they always yeah. do that, don't yeah, they? Yeah. He's not quite got his hands out like that, but he's... Right. And he's kind of coming right into my space. He's right here. Wow. What? What? Oh, God, you're looking really frightened. Well, I'm a little bit... I can, I've got this real impression of someone on my, on my shoulder. Uh-huh. You know, constantly. It's not Annie. It's not... Yeah. It's, <gasps> What was that? I... No, no. That? No. Was it that? No, yeah. it was something behind you. Like a thud. There it is again. Hear it. I heard a thud, yeah. It wasn't a tap, it was a real... 
Oh, someone just f***ed. What was that? Oh, that was the whole floor massive. shook, then. The whole yeah, floor that was, shook. That was a wave of... That was... I thought they'd shake. I don't shake. like that. Okay. Who's here? Who's, who, is, who is making all this tapping noise? The, the strongest impression I have in this area is a female. <gasps> She's, um... A large energy, she's a big energy, energetic. Um, and she's, she's very authoritative. Yeah. I'm not sure if she's working here or she's just bossy. But she's getting people to, no, I think she, I think she, she's getting people to, um, it's almost like, the words that they say, so faster, so, so like there's so like, faster. Like, yeah, there's not. Yeah, but, like some people are sewing. I feel I can feel that thing. I can feel people's fingers. She's she's pushing the down there. Yeah, needles. That kind of you know. Um, and there's like um, the, 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 there's a con. You know, it's like what am I hearing? I'm hearing no option. There's no option for these people. They have to do this or starve. Should we move on? Yeah, shall we? this area have been because it, it looks so different to the rest of the of the building it feels to me like flipping out what's that <gasps> still everyone's gone go on it's like footsteps isn't it This, um... God sake. There's loads of women. The, the sensation is lots of women here working away. Um, they seem to be, um... You know, you know, use the term workhouse, don't you? They're workhouse because they work, they get fed, yeah. they get sheltered, and that's their pay, that's essentially. It. That is it. Yeah. That is their existence. Um, but there's, there must be segregation because there's like, you can, I can hear women talking to other women about their family, but not being able to see their family. It's almost like they can see them from the window, but they can't get to them, they can't talk to them, which must have been horrendous. Well, that's actually true. They used to segregate the women, the men right. and the children, so they were all separated. That's horrible. Yeah. I mean, to know that your family's so close. There is this. What, What's sorry, the I thought, sorry, I just thought, <laughs> thought, I saw, thought I saw something on my shoulder. It might be in the light, but um, there is this one that's a bit. She's really strong with me, as far as. It, that's why I thought I probably saw her. Tell me that was something moving. It was or something. I don't know. But is this the one that's that's the authoritative one? Yeah, and she's a bit of a shover. Just a pusher. You know what I'm going to say? Everything that you're saying is correct. We know that this area is called the women's wing. Right. It's actually called that for that reason. So mm -hmm. everything you're saying is correct. But if we can get any more detail as well about okay. names or even the date of this area or okay. uh, anything like that, that would be good. Should we carry on? Yeah, let's go. There's only one thing. I'm, I'm, you know, we met Annie earlier. Yeah. I'm just wondering if this woman's her mother. Really? She's, she's, she's reacting to her in a very, it's my feet, a motherly way. Oh, right. But she's kind of, she's not proud of her mother. You know, there's this kind of thing in the balance. She's your mother, but she's also a bitch. Oh, really? With David already picking up ghostly presences of previous occupants of the workhouse, we switched to night vision and descended to the mortuary. When do you think this hospital was actually built? The hospital? Or the whole, the, whole, the building. whole building. The workhouse, you know, the, the beginning of it. When do you think it started? I think it probably... I keep getting a phrase in my head. And, you know, the... I don't... I think it's the Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day in the workhouse. It keeps... It keeps repeating on me all the time. Right. So Christmas Day is obviously significant. OK. Um, I think around the... 
1840s, 41, 42, no, okay. late, no, no later than that. No later than that. 